What up dudes, hope you guys are doing good. We're back in the office today getting ready for another video. I thought it'd be fun to revisit the Burner Black. It's been a while since we painted with it and I wanted to show you guys a few different caps that come on it. You know, we got uh, a whole plethora of caps on the site and while this does come with a stock pink dot, which is a very great flare cap, extremely large flares, uh, you can burn out your can pretty quick. Now there's a few different ways you can go about this with low pressure caps, smaller caps, etc. So I, I picked out a nice assortment for you guys to check out. So we're going to go through them right now and you guys can see how they spray and we'll have a really great video. At the end, we're going to answer some of your questions and uh, I think it's going to be a very enlightening film. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, one more thing. I need to give a shit out. <laughs> Oh, one more thing. I need to give a shout out to Chasm79. He sent me this wonderful shirt. Uh, it's right up my alley, man. So thank you very much, homie. And what I'm going to do in this video, actually, I'm going to do a giveaway. He sent me two shirts. Heck yeah. I love it when inspiration strikes me. I was going to keep this alphabet shirt. I thought it was pretty well done. It's got some sick tie-dye action, which I do appreciate. I mean, it's right up my alley. Uh, but I got to spread the love. You know what I'm saying? So the top comment is getting this shirt. So make sure you put something in there really funny. Uh, if it gets upvoted enough, it's going to you. Check it out, guys. This is from Chasm. Really cool dude. So make sure you follow him on Instagram. Uh, solid cat. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Burner Black. All right, sick. So let's go ahead and get started with the stock tip that comes on the Burner Black. So this is a new, a New York fat. This is a pink dot, which is the next up fat cap from the New York cap, at least in my generation. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. Test the cap. As you guys can see, I'm switch handing this. You can see a massive flare coming out of this thing. So with the stock tip, you're getting about five to seven, seven finger widths with the can. Impressive spray. So if you like to do flares, this is definitely the cap for you. Now, there are a couple other options here real quick. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other caps. We got tons of caps on the side, obviously, uh, but I like to kind of play around with different stuff so you can kind of get a feel for the, uh, the different spray patterns that you get with these. One of my favorites uh, of all time, really, is the New York Fat Cap. I've used it for so many things over the years. You know, back in the day with Krylon, you would get flares like this with a Krylon can because the, the paint formula was so thin. You'd get massive flares with it. It was so fun to tag with. This is very similar with this. It's actually technically a little bit of a thinner paint formula. That's why you get those really nice flares. Uh, but you can concentrate the spray down with different types of caps. Now let's check out the New York Fat Cap. Enough talking, GR. This thing gives you the most buttery flares I've ever seen on a can. And you know, and the really cool thing about it is it's very low pressure. So if you just want to do tags, you can get these really nice buttery flares and tags with it, but you're not using that much paint because it's coming out so slow. So, you know, you can probably get like 50 tags with a New York fat cap in this thing, and no problem. And they're gonna look this nice with the nice perfect little circles. It's, it's truly heavenly the way these spray with the New Yorks. It's a wonderful cap. So as you can see, uh, you can get different types of flares, different types of shapes with these cans. Uh, a little bit smaller with the New York than you do with the Pink Dot, but you'll get much more spray out of it. One of my faves. Let's move on to the next one. I'll go ahead and turn this bad boy around. I don't think I've ever sat down while doing a video. It's actually quite comfortable. Uh, okay, so this is the dark shader cap. I've never used one on a burner can, so I thought, you know, let's just try it out, see what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> It's a very low pressure cap too, but on this, you're getting a very nice solid spray. The flare doesn't actually feather out much at all. It's actually very solid. It's a very solid line. Look at that. So what you have is a very nice medium outline cap. So if you're doing freights and stuff like that, this would actually be a good combo for outlining your pieces. Uh, let's do a quick little tag here real quick. So you're not getting much flare, but I'm sure on the video it's you can see that you're getting a much higher volume of paint. And this is this is caused by the shape of the cone spray that's coming out of the cap. So when the paint comes through the, the, uh, the stem of the cap, it enters this little chamber, and inside of that chamber, there's actually a little diffuser in there that spreads the spray out, and then when it gets deflected by the orifice at the end of the cap, it causes it to create a cone shape. So depending on how far that diaphragm or aperture, or whatever you want to call it, is from that little diffuser, will determine how the spray will, will uh, cone out. Some will cone out very wide, some will cone out very narrow. The wider cone is going to give you a softer spray. The narrower cone is going to give you more concentrated spray. Another factor that involves the, the, the shape of your spray is the stem slot underneath the cap. Some caps will have a little slot 
in the stem. And what that does is it allows a pressure differential that allows the spray to come out a little bit more. You could actually modify caps by cutting the stem slot or sealing it to get the desired, desired shape that you're looking for. So like I said before, lots of different factors depending on the cans and caps that you're using. But this is very interesting. It's very solid spray. You could definitely do nice, thick, chunky straight letters with this. And you could probably do a whole piece outline and the 3D with this can. So very cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another cap here. This is the Molotov Super Skinny. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. Do a quick save. You notice how, how much softer that sounds? This is a much softer spray. And this is actually very interesting because the can is very high pressure, but we've reduced the pressure with the cap using the, the, the thing that I mentioned earlier with the diffusers. It's now making a much softer spray with the can. So you could actually control it very well, which is really cool because if you have a low pressure can, you can't really make it high pressure without serious modifications. But you can take a high pressure can and make it a low pressure can according to your needs with the right cap. So you get the best of both worlds here. It's very cool. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys here. I have a question, GR. Yes. Why doesn't it drip? Oh, well, those are different factors involved with this. Uh, it could be your can control, it could be the quality of the paint that you're using, it could be the temperature outside as well too. For example, some paints like oil-based paints don't do very well in the cold. If you've used Rust-Oleum in any weather underneath under 70 degrees, you're going to see a lot of drips and, and a hard time with the paint setting up. It's because the oil-based formula is just not, it's not sticking as well as it should in that cold weather. Lacquer paints like this, on the other hand, work really good in the cold. A Malto can you can use I don't want I don't know the exact temperature, but I think it's somewhere around minus 20 degrees the can will still work So it's very good for cold weather painting, especially if you got to do a nice crisp outline So there's a, there's a definite advantage to that in this circumstance. It's my can control of course But you know sometimes you want to drip, you know, it's all good. You can get drips Sometimes it's just an aesthetic that you're looking for so you know Bottom line is this is very much like using a paintbrush as a fine artist. And you guys are fine artists too, of course. I think of you guys the same way. Um, you know, you have a different type of paintbrush, a fan brush, you know, a fine detail brush, you know, uh, you know, all these different types of paintbrushes that people use to create a desired effect. You do the very same thing with the spray paint. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We can go grab a couple more caps real quick because I think uh, we need to do some more tests and I'll be right back with you guys here. All right, sick. Uh, I got a little friend here coming to say hi. What's up, Vinsky? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You want to come hang out with me? Okay, so let's talk about some more caps. Uh, up first is the Boston Fat Cap. Now, this is going to be a bit of a wild card here uh, because uh, it's not going to fit this can properly. This cap is designed for American valves, the, the valves made in the United States. And um, they actually have a little bit of a thicker valve stem underneath here. So if you try to put this on a European can, It'll kind of spray, but you have to, and then it gets stuck. <laughs> See what I mean? I can't get it off. Oh shit. Oh no. No. <laughs> so it's very important to not use the wrong caps on your can. Uh, and you know, at, G at GR Reviews, I break it so you don't have to, um, to show you guys what will happen in these circumstances. You could actually break your valve trying to force one of these on. I can't get this cap off. It's stuck on there. I'll probably have to use some pliers or something. And if you're out in the middle of nowhere in, in the middle of the night, it's not going to be a good vibe. So let's, I'll have to get another can. I'll have to get another can. Oh wait, it came off. Awesome. Okay. Anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead and buff this out and we'll move on to the next cap. See you in a second. All right, sick. So as you see, uh, you got to use the right cap for the job. Uh, be careful sometimes. It's a, it's a jungle out there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next cap. Uh, we're going to be using the German Outline 3. This is one of my favorite caps on the Molotov Premium. You get very nice cuts, uh, very solid little flares. I've never tried it on one of these before. Ooh, that valve is not happy. I could feel it. It was kind of crunchy. Uh, but with this one, you can get very, very fine lines. Uh, you should have no issue uh, doing details and stuff. There is a little bit of, whoa, that box looks terrible. That's all right. Um, it's got a little bit of a flare on this can, not much, uh, but you can definitely get some nice little cutty tags. In fact, you'll get a lot of tags out of that thing, but it does spray really nice. So if you like to do kind of flary stuff like these eyes I'm doing right here,
can get those really nice little skinny to fat flares with that. So excellent cap, highly recommend it guys. A lot of fun. Okay, so let's move on to the next cap here. Hopefully you're getting an idea of how, how these different caps work with these cans. Uh, trying to give you guys some good information. Um, what have we not used? Did we use the Molotov Super Skinny already? I think we did. Okay, so we've used that. Uh, we've used the New York Fat. Let's get the calligraphy cap. That's a great idea. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, sick guys. So this is the calligraphy cap. Now this cap has a lot of interesting uses, not just for spraying your artwork or your vandalism or whatever it is you're doing. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. Remember, at Art Primo, if you see someone using our can, they're the nicest person in the world. Only the nicest people. So let's go ahead and check a look here. So calligraphy cap sprays, like as it implies, a line. You can orientate the shape of the line by twisting this little insert right here so you can make it go one way or another. So for example, I'm gonna turn it just slightly counterclockwise, okay? Slightly counterclockwise. See right there, now it creates a spray going that direction. Now if I do anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, it's gonna spray like this. See that? So now you have your flare going that direction. Or you could do it like this. It's easier if you take it off the can. Like this. You could spray a vertical line like that. Or you can tune it the other way and do that as well too. So basically this cap allows you a bunch of different shapes. Um, but let's go ahead and try a tag with it real quick. Whoa, wrong way. <laughs> it's on. weird, right? It, like When it's like flat, flat, it actually sprays out for people. Yeah. Maybe that's the one right there. <laughs> so as you can see, it gives you that calligraphy spray, almost like a, a fat marker tag, you know what I mean? It's got that kind of chiselly marker shape to it, but you can get some nice, really grimy tags with it. Uh, I actually really enjoy it quite a bit. Now here's one thing about these that they won't teach you at school. If you ever have a clogged can, all you have to do, I don't have a pair on me, but take a pair of pliers. Do not use your teeth. Don't use your teeth to do this. You will chip your tooth and I will be uh, disappointed in you. So take a pair of pliers, pull out the insert, put it on your clogged can, hold your clogged can upside down and just hold it down until it starts spraying because it will. And once it finally shoots through that little snot booger of paint, you have a fresh ready to go can again. I have yet to unclog a can. I'm sorry, I've yet to be unable to unclog a can with this. It's always worked for me. So make sure you always have these extra because you never know. And sometimes even pros like you don't shake their cans. Highly recommend it. So anyways, those are some caps that we've used on the burner cans. We'll definitely try some more in the future. So why don't we just go ahead and go to the outro. Uh, I got some uh, questions and answers for you guys and a few other things and yeah, I'll see you in a second. Sick. Okay guys, as you can see, this can's a lot of fun. You can do so much cool stuff with it. Big flares, nice uh, nice thick solid outlines, or even fine details with this cap. It gives you the full, full gamut, provided you use the right cap on your can. So if you have any questions about some other caps that we can use on this, definitely comment below. Uh, comment below, of course, because you could win that t-shirt. It's a double X, by the way. Um, also, you know, if you want to see anything else in the future, definitely comment below as well too. And speaking of which, I got I got to respond to some of your guys' comments on the previous video. That was the um, the dope dripper inks and the dope mops. A lot of you are asking to see some of the other colors, including the brown, which I think is a very good point. So we'll bring back the dope markers as well too. So I'll go ahead and preempt everything with that. Um, big ups to Charlie9267. He says we need to come out with a beginner box. And I think you're absolutely right, homie. We'll, we'll come out with a few different beginner kits coming into the holiday season. That's usually when we come out with some new stuff. And we do have some really cool stuff in the horizon. I can't even tell you about it yet, but uh, something special that you guys have been waiting for for a long time, a long time. Um, <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and look at some other comments here. Okay, this is Players Club Worldwide, which I have too am a member of, by the way. Uh, he said he just copped some pink and turquoise from the store when he visited in LA. Oh, that's sick. It must have been one of our wholesale customers, homie. I really appreciate that. You know, if you buy from a wholesale customer that buys from us, you're still sh supporting our business. So I appreciate the support, homie. Thank you very much. You're putting food in my daughter's mouth. Think of that. 
You're helping me feed my daughter. That's the most amazing thing. Uh, okay, so Skyform says, Art Primo has some of the best customer service hands down, more than any other graph shop online. True, and you can call us. We have a phone number, you can call us. 206-365-4083. Um, There's more than enough reason to shop here instead of anywhere else. I ordered something I didn't really want anymore, and the next day they let me swap it out for something else. Yeah, just give us a call. As long as your order hasn't shipped, we can help you out right away. And they hooked me up with some stickers too, the best. That's really sweet, man. I really appreciate that. Um, let's let's try to find some other more critical ones. You know, I can't just hype myself up all the time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> okay, here's a little criticism from Hoot and Hal Wunner. He says, I always wonder why GR doesn't start at the bottom when he's testing drippy mops. <laughs> yeah, you would think I would do that, wouldn't you? Uh, glad AP got the dope. I was going to grab some off eBay, but he's right about sketchy supply chains. I'll be going through AP. That turned into a compliment. Okay, I guess people really love us. They really, really love us. And you know what? I love you guys too, man. That's it's that's from the bottom of my heart, man. We've built up something so great over these past couple years, and it's because of the support of people like you at home. You know, you have a choice in your graffiti supplies, and you choose us. That's pretty dope. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, make sure you comment below. Get in on that contest. The winner gets the Chasm shirt. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Peace out, and... Uh, Say bye to Biscuit. She hates getting picked up, but we gotta say bye to my babe. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs> bye, Biscuit. Oh, shit. Ah!